Hello YouTube and welcome to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel. So July is Christmas in July, of course. What else would it be, right? This is, um, I've started something new and doing, um, sorry, there's an amp that's bugging me. Um, on the first, on the Mondays of each month, I'm going to do something different. So this is a new series. I have my Saturday series. And then of course I do my paper pumpkin as I create something. I load those up immediately. So this is for July 3rd, 2025. No, I don't think so. Right. <laughs> wow. I think I was talking to my grandson a little too much there. So 2023, the first Monday of this month is, of course, sketch a card. The first Mondays, I am choosing to do Mojo Mondays number 350, as it also is a challenge in one of the Facebook groups, Stamp a Joy, that I am in. I saw that posted. I'm like, I can do this. I could make it a two for I'm doing <laughs> cutting two things here for one goal. So July perched in a tree is the stamp set I'm focusing on. And the DSP is something new called one horse open sleigh. Love it. Um, for that DSP, you don't need anything else. The DSP is absolutely fabulous. So, um, should I show you some of it? You guys want to see, I'm sure you guys have already. Sometimes I don't like doing these reveals because there is so much out there already on them. But let's see, this is one beautiful. You can do a card just with that. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna have to get in here. So there's that one. There's that great wintry scene. Let me turn that back over. I'm trying not to get it too far out of the package. This is the one we are using here. We are using the fox, and then we are using the back of this as well and let's see what else is in here sorry it's brand new so there's this pattern and look at that all you need to do is put a sentiment on it I'm telling you it is absolutely gorgeous I love DSP like this so there's one with Mossy Meadow the little deer is so darn cute uh, what's on the back of this blue one we already saw that one. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, gorgeous. Um, I don't see the other one that I'm using. Hold on. So there's that one. That's the red. Let's see, there's this one. Gorgeous. That reminds me. Oh, both of those are just beautiful. Is that the back side of that one? Oh, this one. Okay. These are all just coming out anyway, so doubt if I'm going to get them back in the package. I have to keep some in there. Look at how cute this one is with the little lights. Oh my gosh, I can do... Oh, look at this one. Okay, now I'm doing a reveal on this paper, right? This is not what I intended to do, everybody. But, oh, this is the other one we're using, but we're not using that side. I'm using the trees because I think it goes really well with the fox. And let's see, there's just one more. Is that one? That's the paper. Ooh. Love it. Love it. Very, very beautiful DSP. I'm telling you, I just, there's so much I want to do with this. So, oh, look, at, it's going to go in there somewhat. Let's try just a little harder, please. I need to get some holders but everything in its own time so put that back in there gorgeous gorgeous dsp i'm sure you guys have seen it but now you've seen it here too so mm, what do we have well i'm using something that's a bit retired you could use very vanilla splatter it with some ink um i don't have that much time so i'm using this it used to be called confetti cream um or no, this was confetti. They had a confetti cream that was more a vanilla background, but this goes beautifully with the paper. So if you're like me and you still have some, bring it out of your stash. So we have our card base is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And like I said, this is confetti cream, but you can speckle cardstock. 
I've done it before. You guys have seen that. So let me show you again the DSPs. I've cut up two pieces. We're using this tree side and this side of one. So there's that. This is the other side. This is where I took my fox out of. Okay. And let's see. This is the back of that one. Just so you get a look at it. So let's get back to what we have here. So DSP layer number one happens to be that wood grain right here. And you need to cut to two by three and a half. This one, oops, Miss Kitty needs to come out. You need to cut two of that. Um, and this is the other DSP right here. And it's one and three quarters by three and a quarter. And that's going to layer up like so. You're going to need two sets. There they are. Then I cut a, well, die cut a circle that's two and three quarter inch circle from the layering circle dies in pebble path. I punched one that's the two and three eighths inch circle punch in early espresso. And then I used a two inch circle punch to punch my little fox out. He is the standout of this. So let's get started as I see this card in my head. You know, that's how it goes sometimes. So, oh, I still have not... <laughs> You guys are going to laugh at me. You're like, boy, that bottle of glue lasts forever. It just happens to be that I'm still recording with this one bottle of glue. So we are going to attempt, anyways, to put our DSP layers together. Don't forget, X marks the spot. It's like gorgeous. That didn't quite make it straight, but we're going to have to finagle it a little bit here. Sometimes these nails are too long. They've grown out. Thursday, I'm going to the nail salon having them cut down quite a bit because I can't hardly pick anything up. No X marks the spot on that one. Just a dash because there's quite a bit of glue. All right, so there's our two pieces of DSP. We're not going to glue them on there yet. We are going to, however, put our two largest circles, our Lurgly Espresso and Pebble Path, together. Just like so. I am leaving what would be like a ribbon element. I'll show you my sketch of the card. So it had these two panels, these two, the circles, and then what could be ribbon or something in there. I'm leaving that out. I chose not to do that. But we got to do some stamping. Now, on the front of this card, with the way this is going to go, we are going to get two sentiments, which I really like the idea of it. We're going to go a quarter from the top down on the right, on the right side, and a quarter... I mean, a half an inch down when we glue our DSP and a half an inch up on the left. But we're going to do some little specks here, like so. And I believe, what am I going to do? We're going to do that in um, Pebbled Path. But we are going to do two um, sentiments on this card from Perched in a Tree. Let heaven and nature sing and wishing you abundant joy and peace. So but let's get our stamping done. And I need a bit of scratch paper. Do I have one in there? Nope. So my little, oh, there's one. You guys know I will use scratch paper till I just don't feel I can use it anymore. Just want to test it out. Yes. So I'm just going to move this aside. Having technical difficulties, right? No having just difficulties this morning. I was out in the garden at 5.45 this morning in the front garden, all covered up. But, so there's that. We're going to bring it down like so. I want to bring some, I think, here. Oops, I missed a spot. Okay. 
So I want it there. Boy, that's going to be a bit dark. I might have to start over again. I might have to do... Yep, guess what? It's a good thing I had an extra one ready, guys. <laughs> that one will be cut up for scrap. Here we go again. We need to be able to see... That's a, just a little dark, so stamp one. We're going to stamp off just because it needs it. So I'm going half an inch from the bottom. So stamp off. Oh, much, much better. And I'm going to add some more here. And just a bit there that got a little. All right. Now this one is going to come up here and we are just going to do this section down here. So I want to, it's about a half an inch. I need to move my scratch paper a bit. So stamping off. Stamp off. Move that out of the way. And then I just need to bring it in a little there and a little here. Now I need to have a look at what we've done. And I do like that quite a bit. I love it actually. Yes. All right. So next we need to stamp. Let heaven and nature sing. And this is going to be in early espresso. We're stamping right onto our card. I'm going to get this lined up. Move that out of the way. Let's see. Half an inch. There we go. Ink it back up and stamp right there. Give it a minute. I want that ink to be nice and dark. Beautiful. Now this one, you need to get it up on that grid. Right there's a half an inch mark. Wishing you joy and peace. Beautiful. Oh, oh my God. I am so happy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now we're going to glue. Hopefully, we're still working on the glue bottle. X marks the spot. Come up here, and we're going to put it half an inch up from the bottom. So then we need to repeat on the right side, but a half an inch down from the right upper X. We didn't get quite the crosshair on the X there. X again. So here's the grid. My husband and my grandson are both, I want to say home with the flu, but they're not. They're both homesick. My grandson had a temperature this morning. So here, oh my goodness gracious. Yes. Oh, love it. So this is going to go up on dimensionals. But because this is so flimsy, um, let me grab that. Where's my two inch circle punch? Told you. We're going to use this right here. We're going to grab that. And we're going to glue this now onto this piece. Just to give it some stability. I am really tapping the end of this bottle here. Every last bit of glue is going to be mine. All right. So there, it just makes it sturdier. And this is going to go up on dimensionals. This, however, is not. So we're going to go tap, tap, tap some more. Come out, come out, wherever you may be in there. 
barely. I think this is the last card this will make. So we're going to put this straight in the center. And then dimensionals. We're going to do a triangle because it doesn't need like a massive amount. Just three like that will do the trick. Now for the inside, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. I don't have, hmm, let's see. We'll have to see what I can come up with. But oh my gosh, is this ever gorgeous. Look at that. All the work done with the DSP. And you could do, oh, we will definitely do rhinestones. Let's see. Definitely needs a little sparkle. But ooh, those would be cute too, but no. Um, I think we're going to use these little ones that have some little gold in it. Why not use them up? Where's my gorgeous pokey tool? So, set that aside. We're going to use these three. We're going to put one here. You could do the red, but I don't want to bring any other color into this. I mean, if you liked that, but oh, most definitely. Oh, yes. Okay. So the inside of our card needs some scratch paper. We're going to do our little bits of speckled greatness in Pebble Path. Let's do that along the edge. Now this card is so pretty. It is going in a clear envelope. There is no need for me to do anything else. I could do, we could do a little bit on the back because it's going to go, no, that's just going to be, you can write directly on the back of this or make your own label. But what do we have? Okay, so we use no... Let heaven and nature sing, wishing you abundant joy and peace. And no matter the season, I'm here for you. That, that looks good. We're going to use all of them right from the stamp set. And this, of course, is going to go in early espresso. So let's move Pebbled Path. And we're going to check it. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I wish, I wish Stampin' Up! would bring back this cardstock. I'm telling you, it is so gorgeous. If you never got to use it, I'm so sorry because it is just beautiful. So, Wink Estella, Mr. Fox. And he looks like a Mr. Fox. He's preen and prancing. And he deserves it. And a little bit on our trees. Just a hint here and there. Oof, oof, oof. So, so pretty. So that is, oh, do you see the sparkle, guys? I absolutely love this. I love it when something in my head comes out well, and it does. I'm really happy with that. So I hope you guys can see just how beautiful that is. And the DSP really did all the work. We just stamped the sentiments on it. it it's just gorgeous. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, would you be kind enough to give me a thumbs up, maybe share, like, any of the above. Um, comment. Yes. Love your comments. They're awesome. They keep me motivated and inspire me to keep going. So thank you very much. And I want to invite you back to my channel. Bye-bye.